Hello, hello, it is the 16th of, oh god, my eye is twitching, sorry, um, the 16th of August, um, it is Thursday, so this would be, I'm sorry, this is really bothering me, uh, week two, day five, um, probably the only update of the day, because considering it's already nine o'clock at night, um, oh god, it's already nine o'clock at night, what have I been doing? Um, a pretty good day today. Um, worked on my project, um, or the project in uh, the speaking course, which went pretty well. I need to um, like make some graphs in PowerPoint, which I or Excel, which I think I remember how to do. Hopefully, um, and I also need to translate my script into German. Um, which I probably could have done earlier. Oh well. Um, I went shopping today, which was terribly exciting. Um, I... Let me show you what I got. I got more granola. Which is really fun. I love granola. I got two boxes. Uh, so I got some more milk, because I'm running away. And... I got... these trousers. Um, observe, they came with suspenders. How cool is that? They were also on sale. Um, and they were they're a little like faded and had a weird sun pattern on them um, for being in the sun. And so the, uh, the woman gave me an additional, um, like, a lot off. Much more than I was expecting. Um, they were uh, on sale for 30 euros. And I... Um, I was like, there's a weird sunspot on them, could you like take them off? And she was like, yeah, can, let me go check. And she came back and was like, I can take 10 euros off. And I was like, wow, that was more than I was expecting. Do that, do that. And so she did. So I got them for like 20 euros, which is quite good. Um, I'm planning on wearing them tomorrow. They're green. Lots of people in Germany wear green pants, as I think, or trousers, not pants, if you're British. Um, speaking of, uh, uh, one of the people I went shopping with is British, and, um, I was like, I'm, I'm probably, if I keep hanging out with you a lot, I'm probably unintentionally gonna, sw like, slip into a British accent, and I'm really sorry if I did, and someone else we've been hanging out with, um, was like, you've already done that, and I was like, dang it. Unfortunate, so, I don't, I didn't, I don't, I didn't even notice, blah, 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 blah. I can speak good English. Um... So yeah, that was fun. I made dinner with um, some people, and we had pasta and tomatoes and mozzarella, which was quite tasty. Um, and uh, what else did we do today? Um, oh, uh, in film class, we watched some stuff about Werner Herzog, who's um, a German director, and he's totally insane like whoa man like really insane he made this film about uh this crazy german guy who like goes to south america and his riverboat runs ashore and so he decides that he needs to um so he recruits the help of, of like the native people and has them pull his his boat his entire ship over a mountain using like winches I don't know why, because um, he's crazy, and <laughs> they actually did it. There was like there weren't any special effects. They actually just pulled the boat over the mountain, um, and like and then he rides his boat down like a rapids, and they actually did that. And it was like the director and the cameraman and the actor on the boat as it was going down the rapids. And I was like, you're totally crazy. Also, um, one time he said. He's like, I'll eat my shoe if this movie ever gets produced by a friend of his, and the movie ended up getting filmed, and, and he ate his shoe. He actually ate it. He cooked it for five hours, and then he ate it in public. Also, he threw himself on a cactus once, for basically no reason. He was in a film, and like, or he made a film with a bunch of uh, midgets, and one of them got like really horribly injured doing a stunt, 
And he was like, if everyone makes it through this alive, I'll throw myself on a cactus. And everyone did. And he did. And they were like, so you did it hurt? And he was like, oh, no. No, it's fine. You know, so I've actually still got three of the spines stuck in the sinew in my knee. So that feels a little weird sometimes. But it doesn't hurt. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, they can't, but they couldn't get it out with surgery. And I was like, why Why did you do this? Why are you insane? And I had some... Um, so yeah, that was that was kind of weird. Um, tomorrow, oh excuse me, okay, mm, excuse me. So I do um, some practice filming, so it'll be fun. Um, that's pretty much it. I dressed as the doctor today, um, and. Uh, that's, um, did I, is that really all I did? Because, like, it felt like I did a lot more today. What did I, like, I do for lunch and, and in the early afternoon? I don't remember. I think I'm going insane. No, I had class. I had class. That's right. Oh, um, and there was a, there was a speaker. That's right. Um, in the second part of what would normally be our speaking course, there was, like, a, someone came and gave a lecture about the EU. Um, and that was kind of interesting, although I disagreed with some of his points. He was like, yeah, and the people in Eastern Europe have lower life expectancy and uh, lower GDP, which is why they shouldn't be in the EU. And I was like, that doesn't really make much sense to me. But then you are very small, <clears throat> to quote Treebeard. Um, actually, he wasn't particularly small, but whatever. Um, it seems like... Oh, and the, and like the the life expectancy thing, that was calculated before a bunch of the countries even entered the EU, and I was like, I don't really think that really supports your point particularly well. You're a little too strongly opinionated for me, um, but it was interesting. I spaced out about three quarters of the way through, um, but you know. Um, it was it was fine. Oh, that's uh, excuse me. That's pretty much all. Um, tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to Dresden on Saturday, so I um, I have an informational meeting about that tomorrow. Kind of nervous. I don't really know why, but I'm nervous. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um. Yep, I will uh, keep you updated about that. So, bye.